Hello, and welcome to this presentation of the STM32L4 series of ultra-low power microcontrollers with a 32-bit ARM Cortex-M4 core. The STM32L4 series is part of ST's 10-year product longevity commitment program for STM32 and STM8 microcontrollers. Here are the four main advantages of STM32L4 ultra-low power microcontrollers. ULP Leader and Performance Booster ST has built a new architecture to reach best-in-class, ultra-low power figures thanks to its high flexibility. Moreover, the performance of the STM32L4 series adds a new dimension to the ultra-low power world. It delivers 100 DMIPS based on its ARM Cortex-M4 core with FPU and ST Art Accelerator at 80 MHz. Innovation To address a large market range, its architecture implements several innovations and embeds smart peripherals. Integration and safety up to 1 MB of flash memory and 320 KB of SRAM with safety and security features, smart and numerous peripherals, advanced and low-power analog circuits in packages as small as 3.13 by 3.14 mm. Great investment! This new STM32 member benefits from the pin-to-pin -pin compatibility of the STM32 family and the STM32 development ecosystem. The new STM32L4 architecture implements many innovations to reduce power consumption and increase flexibility. A new low-power mode has been added. Shutdown mode with consumption as low as 8 nanoamps. The real-time clock, RTC, is available in all power modes. A dedicated pin, called VBAT, can be connected to a backup battery. There is an automatic switch between the main power supply and this VBAT pin. And as soon as the battery goes low, an automatic switch maintains the power for the RTC and backup registers. No need to have a dedicated crystal oscillator for USB using the internal HSI 48 MHz oscillator. An internal oscillator can be programmed from 100 kHz to 48 MHz with a very high accuracy, better plus or minus 0.25%. All I.O. levels can be kept in low power modes as well as during wake-up phases. It optimizes the system consumption. The flexibility of sources is increased. A standby mode down to 200 nanoamps with partial RAM retention is available. Optimized active mode thanks to an external SMPS to supply the core. Some IOs have a dedicated supply in order to avoid having to use an external level shifter. The STM32L4 offers best-in-class power consumption with full flexibility the user can select the best operating mode depending on the wake-up time, state of retention, and the number of sources required. VBAT mode shows 2 nanoamps without RTC and 200 nanoamps with RTC running. Shutdown mode at 8 nanoamps without RTC and 200 nanoamps with RTC. From this mode, you can wake up from 5 IOs, the reset pin, or RTC. Standby mode with the possibility to keep 8 kilobytes of SRAM with more wake-up sources. Wake-up time is only 14 microseconds. There are two stop modes, stop 1 and stop 2. In both modes, you can retain all the memory and all peripherals, and it takes less than 5 microseconds to fetch the next instruction. The difference between the two modes is that you can wake up from one UART and one I square C in stop two, while all I square C's and UARTs can be used in stop one mode. There is also a sleep mode used to wake up from any event or interrupt. The STM32L4 also shows a very low power consumption in active mode, down to 31 microamps per megahertz with external SMPS. 
the STM32L4 series shatters performance limits in the ultra-low power world. It delivers 100 DMIPS based on its ARM Cortex M4 core with FPU and ST's Art Accelerator at 80 MHz. Once woken up from stop mode, the internal clock is available in less than 5 microseconds running at 48 MHz and up to 80 MHz in less than 20 microseconds. STM32L4 MCU scored 447 in the standardized EEMBC ULP Mark CP tests that compare the efficiency of ultra-low power microcontrollers. STM32L4 MCUs scored 167 in the standardized EEMBC ULP Mark PP tests that compared the efficiency of the peripherals. STM32L4 adds a new dimension to performance in the ultra low power world. Thanks to the ART accelerator, performance is linear with the frequency and there is no impact on flash states. The STM32L4 reaches 100 DMIPS or 273 core mark with the ARM Cortex M4 core with floating point unit and DSP instructions. It also embeds two DMA controllers and several high speed peripherals. STM32L4 microcontrollers implement many innovative smart peripherals. To illustrate this, let's look at three application examples. The first one is metering. It is a very good fit thanks to the segment LCD controller, the three tamper pins, communication interfaces for connecting wireless devices, a lot of IOs, a parallel interface for connecting external memory, hardware crypto, and a true number generator for security, VBAT with RTC for battery backup, and possibility to connect an external Sigma Delta modulator with the DF-SDM. The STM32L4 is also an excellent choice for fitness trackers with the possibility to connect a TFT display through the parallel or serial interface, USB, host or device, serial audio interfaces, a lot of embedded advanced analog IPs such as op amps, digital to analog converters, and analog to digital converters. It also provides a secured element connection via the SWP, numerous serial connections, a batch acquisition mode with the possibility to retrieve data from sensors while the MCU is in low power modes to reduce power consumption. The DFSDM also supports the direct connection of a digital microphone. The filtering and data conversion are done in hardware and further improve the system's power efficiency. The third application example is an industrial sensor where power consumption constraints can be an issue. Its segment LCD controller, numerous serial interfaces and IOs, as well as a flexible static memory controller for connecting an external memory and an ambient operating temperature range up to 125 degrees Celsius, makes the STM32L4 an excellent choice for industrial sensors. In addition, it embeds an encryption hardware accelerator and true random number generator, a CAN bus interface, and motor control support with advanced timers and three analog to digital converters. The STM32L4 shows high integration with high memory size, with up to 1 megabyte of dual bank flash memory and 320 kilobytes of SRAM. STM32L4 microcontrollers embed many peripherals, including a total of 17 timers, up to 136 IOs, and a touch sensing controller. These MCUs are available in small sizes, down to 2.58 by 3.07 millimeters in the WLCSP49 package. The STM32L4 also embeds many safety features. For example, it includes a brownout reset that protects the device in all modes and a clock security system, which automatically detects if a crystal oscillator is broken or disordered, and takes action in order to ensure that the system can still run in a safe mode. An error correction code is available, 
which warns the system if an error occurs and tries to correct it. As security is also important in many applications, the STM32L4 embeds a 256-bit AES and 256-bit SHA encryption hardware accelerator, as well as anti-tamper detection, unique ID, and software IP protection features. The STM32 portfolio offers an extraordinary variety of compatible microcontrollers based on ARM Cortex-M cores, M0, M0+, M3, M4, M33, and M7, giving developers flexibility to find the perfect STM32 MCU for their applications. The STM32L4 is a great investment and benefits from pen-to-pen compatibility across the STM32 family. The STM32L MCU series is the largest portfolio of ultra-low-power MCUs that exist today. This series is at the heart of your battery-operated or energy-sensitive application. The STM32L1 has a broad range of products and is the foundation of the STM32 Ultra Low Power Series. The STM32L0 is the cost smart Ultra Low Power Champion Microcontroller Series and is based on the Cortex M0 Plus core. The STM32L4 completes the Ultra Low Power Microcontroller Series, providing more best in class power consumption figures, higher performance, more advanced peripherals, and more memory. The STM32L4 Plus series extends STM32L4 technology by offering higher performance, larger embedded and more advanced graphic features with no compromise on its ultra-low power consumption capability. The STM32L5 adds more security with Cortex-M33 and its trust zone. Thanks to this new core and new START accelerator, now also supporting external memory, the STM32L5 reaches 427 core mark. The STM32L4 portfolio is available in a wide choice of packages, from QFN32 up to UFBGA169, and from 64 kilobytes up to 1 megabyte of flash memory size. The AES encryption hardware accelerator is optional. Developers will find a solution matching their exact application needs thanks to the STM32's exhaustive ecosystem. From a hardware tool perspective, developers can choose between fast prototyping using an STM32 Nucleo board, which ensures an easy switch from one STM32 to another, a discovery kit that highlights specific features, and full evaluation boards that demonstrate how to get the most out of the full range of peripherals and features for an STM32 MCU with a complete set of companion chips. For software tools, the STM32L4 is a great investment because it uses the STM32 ecosystem. Using the STM32 CubeMX tool, users can intuitively select and configure an STM32 microcontroller that matches their required set of peripherals as well as program the required embedded software. Based on user choices, this tool can also generate initialization C code and estimate power consumption. The STM32 Cube MX relies on the STM32 Cube embedded software bricks to generate the peripheral initialization code. The first firmware layer of these embedded software bricks is made up of the low level drivers, for example, the hardware abstraction layer, HAL, and the low layer, LL, APIs. The HAL implements a high portability between STM32 series, while the LL APIs bring the performance aspect to the STM32 Cube L4 offer. The HAL abstracts the STM32 series from one another thanks to a highly portable set of APIs, thus ensuring an easy migration path from one series to another. 
The LL APIs are a lot closer to the machine and constitute a lightweight, high performance, expert oriented firmware stack for maximum dynamic reactivity and flexibility. Last but not least, these low level drivers are distributed under the BSD license, one of the most permissive and business friendly open source licenses. For more convenience, the SDM32 Cube L4 embedded firmware also comes with a set of middleware bricks. They are portable on any STM32 series that supports the required functionality. These middleware bricks also come for free, and most of them are based either on open source de facto standards or ST deliverables with permissive and business friendly license terms. In addition, numerous examples are provided to help the customer understand how to use the how, the LL APIs, and the middleware with the microcontroller. ST proposes high quality, low level drivers, which have been thoroughly qualified using both standard and ST specific validation tools and processes. For more information, you can refer to the presentation dedicated to the STM32 Cube Embedded Software Qualification. It has never been so easy to select, download, watch tutorials, or get the latest news about STM32 products and solutions on a computer, tablet, or smartphone. The STMCU Finder app lets you quickly and easily select the devices of your choice on a tablet, smartphone, or desktop. Then, visit www.st.com slash STMCU Finder. The ST forums on microcontrollers allow the STM32 developer community to discuss and share experiences. If you would like to know more about STM32 products and solutions in real time, join the growing STM32 community on Facebook and on Community. Learn more with our STM32L4 online training at www.st.com slash STM32L4 online training. For more information, please visit our website at www.st.com slash STM32L4. Thank you for your attention.